Hello and welcome to another video. As usual, my name is Jeffrey and you're welcome to Inclusive Universe. So today I want to talk about like the ZLT M30S MTN MiFi. I, I put out a video. I mean, I bought it. I got it last year. Uh, I put out a video about the said MiFi, like, you know, basic specifications, you know, how to set it up, my experience with using it and all that. And I have got a lot of feedback. I didn't really expect the video to reach a thousand. It's well over 2000 now. And there's lots of like, you know, there's lots of comments on that video. Like, you know, it's, the video actually has a very healthy comment section. And I'm trying to build on that, like using this video to build on the conversations that we had, we've, we've had there. And then two issues. I think, uh, unfortunately, um, if uh, quite a few people have come out to say like, yeah, we like the video the review was good it helped us with the MiFi and all that and I'm very grateful for those but unfortunately um, quite a number of people have also had telling problems with this MiFi and I have had to delete um, a few comments from a few persons who were invari invariably they were accusing me of being like misleading in my video when nothing or such occurred and I really I, I want to put this out before I proceed um, if you didn't watch my review before going on to buy I am in no way responsible for whatever you do with your MiFi. You just stumbled across my video and then you came in, you, you came down to complain. I really don't understand the, the logic behind that, but hey, it is what it is right now. So um, for those people who actually watched the video and paid attention to it, I, I did say something about the networks, um, the, the MiFi's network speed, right? So I'm going to be building on, on that now. So the, the MTN MiFi has two issues. One of them is its network speed, category four. Um, maybe as soon as I cut this video, maybe I'll just shoot another one. Still wearing this, I'll just shoot another one about like uh, LTA categories and all that. Um, but first off, the, the MTN has two, two issues: its network speed, one, and then the second one is its charging and battery. So those are the two things I want to talk about. Now, if you are buying this MiFi, it is important to note that first things first, this MiFi is an entry level MiFi. I said it in the previous video. I am repeating it now. It is an entry level MiFi. Entry level entry level so it's important that you know this please know this it is an entry level my when you hear the word entry level entry level means like the most basic product the lowest specs the lowest everything it just functions that's all it does this it, the, the the category uh, category four on that my is slower than most phones most phones because i've seen people come out to say that uh they've, they've come to me personally to say that what the hell is i mean what kind of shit my fire is this like my phone is faster than it yes your phone is actually faster than it i said it in the video that, that my phone is has a category 15 modem on board so it's i think it has up to 800 uh, megabits per second downlink speeds right and upload speeds of 150 megabits per second that's mbps that 150 that is my upload speeds is the download speeds of this my fire this my fire is slow the only reason why I would advise anyone to get this is because the modern, the network modem on your smartphone consumes a lot of battery. So if you want better battery life and you want to prolong the life of your smartphone battery, having this MiFi is probably a good way to do so. And so long as you're not into downloading heavy stuff in gigabytes like all the time, then this MiFi is okay for you. So long as it's for personal and light use. If you want something more, then you're, going, you're going to have to look up at better MiFi's or even Wi-Fi routers. Because I've seen people buy this, right? They've bought this MiFi and they want to use it for a business where they've got like, you know, several gadgets like PCs, laptops, different phones. And then they want like 10 gadgets to run on this one MiFi. It's come on, guys. I don't know. I, I'm, people are trying to cut costs for their business and then see how they can get maximum returns. But guys, no, this MiFi is slow. It is a category four in terms of speed, right? I'm going to be doing the video after this one. So I, I'll proceed now. Then the next thing is the big part, the battery and the charging. Now, this is where a lot of people get it absolutely horribly wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It's completely wrong. This MiFi is not designed to be fast charged. That's one. I, I, I pinned a comment in that video, which I know many people would not read. They just want to, I, I really don't understand it. But you do not fast charge this MiFi. The power IC, the, the integrated circuit on there, is not designed to handle speeds over 10 watts. And I'm being generous, 10 watts, by, by saying 10 watts. It's probably 5 watts. I'm being generous by saying 10 watts, but it's probably 5 watts. In fact, I would not advise you to even use any other USB cord apart from the one that came bundled inside the charger. I think that one is a 1A cord or so thereabouts. But I would never advise you to use a 2A cord on this to charge this MiFi because the integrated circuit there, the power IC, is not designed to handle like a lot of voltage. If you check my if you check my blog, I did a post about it where I put out the picture of someone's um, power IC on this same ZLT M30S that was burnt due to him fast charging it. At least he was honest. He said I regularly fast charge it with my 18 watts charger, and then it got burnt. 
So he was very honest about it. Too many people are not honest at all. They come out and then they say the charger this the, the my five sports i was charging it and it's sport then the first thing i usually ask them is were you fast charging your my five and usually they either ghost me or then they, they try to circumvent the argument like for real guys i am not mtn mtn doesn't know i exist if you check my channel you see there's a video of me calling out mtn and basically go around what 400 500 views like people didn't watch it so mtn doesn't care about me i have no affiliation with mtn whatsoever so don't come at me please please do not come at me i have no affiliation with mtn but when i say things like this when i try to like tell people like this is what they've done wrong it seems as if i don't know i'm an mtn employee trying to defend the bad MiFi. the MiFi is not bad it's entry level that's what it is oh great right uh, so i seem to have lost power and i cannot get it back it's nigerian factor um <laughs> let me check if this is recording yes it's recording um i don't know how this is going to turn out i'm recording my back camera and i'm using my flash but um let me let me say this um uh, which is very important the do not fast charge is my fight because it cannot handle that voltage that's the first one then secondly do not use while charging yeah i've seen people argue very like you know very vocally very vehemently that um well jeff you're supposed to i mean gadgets these days lithium ion gadgets batteries that is they're, they're, they're designed to be used whilst they are charging um smartphones i would say yes but this MiFi, no, it does not, please. It, it's not designed that way at all. Why? Let me explain why. Why, why it doesn't work. Why charging and using this MiFi doesn't work? Basically, because um, when you're using a gadget that is battery operated, the gadget is going to draw battery out from it. Let's assume that this um, gadget is drawing out, let's say, let's say it's, it's drawing out uh, approximately, um, let's say it's drawing five watts, for example, or say seven watts, for example. And you're charging this MiFi, you're charging it at 5 watts. That's only 5 watts current is entering. So for every 5 watts that goes into the battery, 7 watts goes out. So if this battery was approximately, let's say if this battery was approximately 7%, right? 7% when you started to charge and use it, for example. Let's say the battery was low, you plugged it in and then you started to use it. So that means for every 5%, for example, that the battery is going to be using, you're going to be charging only 2%. So which means if the battery was 7% when you started to use it, so if you were to drain five watts out of it, you'd be left with two and then you charge two in, two percent in, and then you, you have like four. I know like, I know electrical students are going to come at me, but this is like basically the, the most simple way I can put it. So in the end, you have, you, you say you're using the device while charging it, you had seven percent. Instead of everything charging up, it would then fall back down. Like instead of like, you know, you're charging while using from seven percent, it's going to fall back to four percent instead of going up to maybe seven, eight, nine, ten. Because why? The power that is coming in, the power input is not greater than the power being consumed. So if you want your devices to charge while using, that means the power input coming in must be greater than the power that the device is currently drawing from the battery, which is not so in this case. And because of, you know, there's something called parasitic load. Um, I think um, XDA developers explained it best. If you really want to know what parasitic, uh, parasitic load is, what I can tell you right now is that um, when the anode is basically um, discharging electrons and accepting electrons at the same time it kind of like messes up the battery chemistry and then there's really a lot of stuff in there that you probably should go and research yourself i don't really have the time to explain it here maybe in a separate video but parasitic load on the battery is never a good idea especially for a MiFi like mtn z or tm 30s MiFi that is a bit outdated especially when you look at the way the battery tech is set up it's set up like an old you know like late 2010s phone the way they are set up you get so that is really something very important for you to know please this MiFi is slow do not fast charge it you're going to melt the power ic i've seen people use 33 watt chargers on that thing please do not do that do not absolutely do not do that charging whilst using is also a very bad idea if you know that you are going to be using the MiFi, then you're going to have to be proactive too many people are not proactive and responsible if i know that i'm going to be out and i'm going to be using this MiFi, basically what i do is i charge it overnight or at least i make plans to have a power bank to have it charged overnight whilst i'm sleeping so that i know that whatever i charge over overnight till the next morning at least it's going to last me because this my fire if you are connected to basically one or two devices that do not draw a lot of power six hours you're good eight hours uh, uh, it's six hours on average eight hours if like you know network is okay and your signal strength is nice and you do not use more than you know one or two connected devices you understand that so that's all there is for this my fire if you need faster my if you need better battery life there are better my fires from zte from huawei you know they are uh, open uh, i think there's also i think the mtn uh, mf927u is also another good, great option if you're looking i think that one is, is a tad bit more expensive um if you go on um i think if you go on jumia there are lots of like unlock my fires with better specs you should learn how to read specs of my fires it's very important so that you know what you're doing and I'm shooting this without power. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but uh, please let me know your experiences with this MiFi, whichever mistakes you've made and you know how you can correct them. So 
And what I would tell you to do is you're going to have to be patient with the speeds. If, if you're not going to be downloading anything heavy, you're good. And then also another thing is please do not do not fast charge this. Do not use another cord besides the one that came with it. Even if you're going to be using a 10 watt charger or, or, or a 15 watt charger, basically cap it at 18 watts and do not use anything more than that cord that came with it. Yes, that small black like tiny cord that came with it that's what's designed to funnel current into that thing do not use anything else it's it will probably be too powerful for the MiFi. and once the MiFi goes boom you will charge from now to tomorrow it's never going to get full the battery life will be trash please pay attention to this thing thank you very much my name is jeffrey and i will see you in the next one Bye bye